Accidents have long been the leading cause of death for young adults here in the U.S., but according to the CDC, another type of accident has now spiked to the top, drug overdoses. And they're killing young adults in Maine at a rate that is more than double most of the country. The I-Team Stephanie Grinley looks into what the state is doing to save Mainers from the state's number one killer. It is a huge step back in the fight against the opioid crisis. Right now, the state is on pace to break the record number of 417 overdose deaths. Three years ago, Maine broke its overdose death record and has broken it each year since. It's fentanyl. Opioid Addiction Treatment Center Everest Recovery opened in 2022 during the deadliest year on record for Maine overdose victims. CEO Peter Morris says synthetic fentanyl, 50 times more potent than heroin, is speeding up the addiction process. 15 years ago, the patient was typically a late 40s to early 60s age person uh, who was frankly sick of being sick. And now, today. Of the 300 patients in Saco, Roughly two thirds are under 40. I woke up and I, I saw the, the uh, people all around me. I was sitting One of those patients, 28 year old Anthony, now in recovery after three doses of Narcan saved his life. I was sitting in my car and I could feel my heart beating and like everything was like tense. After I, a couple of days, I realized I was like, I just almost died and I would have left my daughter behind. Anthony, whose identity we've agreed to conceal, started taking prescription painkillers at age 18 after an ATV accident. By his 20s, he was a father, a graduate, and fighting a fentanyl addiction. Once there's no heroin, what else are you gonna do? You're already addicted to opiates, so it's either go through withdrawal and deal with all your demons or keep using, and usually it's easier to keep using. For Anthony, it took almost dying to choose recovery, but for so many others, help does not arrive in time. In that year, 2022, 52% of the time when our teams arrived, the people were simply deceased. The CDC places Maine's rate of drug overdose mortality the eighth highest in the country. On the state's overdose dashboard, the I-Team found from 2019 through 2022, overdose deaths of people younger than 40 skyrocketed. It jumped 74% for that age group. In Maine? In Maine. We asked Maine's opioid response czar, Gordon Smith, if the state's plan to fight fentanyl is working. It spiked for everyone from 2019 to, to 2022. It's only been in 2023 that we've seen some improvement. Smith says investments made since 2019 are starting to work, like the use of methadone treatment to reduce opioid cravings, the deployment of Narcan, and the creation of beds for long-term rehabilitation. It's complicated. You, you have to help people recover from whatever drug it is that they're, they're using. And of course, the more deadly, the more lethal the drug, in this case fentanyl, the more likely that, that they're, we're going to lose them before uh, they get into recovery. A year and a half after checking himself into recovery, Anthony says he's lucky to be on the other side. Did you ever think you would recover? No, <laughs> no, 100% not. Um, no, I'm so grateful, honestly. I really hope that this helps someone watching yeah that'd be really cool if someone's going through something you went through what would you like them to know today that it seems impossible but it it really it's not if you I, I mean you might fail 10 20 times but if you just keep trying it can work out 2023 is on track to be the first year that Maine will not see an increase in overdose deaths. Gordon Smith is cautiously optimistic that the plan started in 2019 under the Mills administration is working, but he fears there is an even deadlier drug waiting around the corner. Live in the studio for the I-Team, I'm Stephanie Grinley. Stephanie, thank you.